I help you? The news from Mina Pai was unexpected. Adriana had ventured far away to avoid the Archean Legion, who had discovered her hideout. She said that no matter how effective her potions were, they never lasted long enough. Adriana set out to find a way to completely soothe the tempestuous mana. Star fragment just like that girl. I won't be going home empty handed after all. You dare interfere with our plans? I'll kill you! nightmare I had. So many people in despair, all of them writhing in pain. With time, my memories became clearer. It's agonizing, but I just can't give up. At the very least, for Martinet's sake. I felt someone's presence in my sleep. I thought it was just Mina at first, but then I could tell from the heavy footsteps that the intruder was someone I didn't know. I quickly hid myself and watched the intruder pass by. The pattern engraved on their sword meant that they were part of the Archeum Legion. Just why are the Archeum looking for me again? I can't allow that tragedy to be repeated. It's probably time for me to leave. At the very least, Martinet will be safe. The Archean Legion attacked the lighthouse where Adriana had been hiding, seeking the power of a star fragment. Only after defeating them did you discover her research papers and a diary she had left behind. There, she had clearly recorded the difficult times she had been through. Janice Carter anyway. She recognized my power immediately, and knew that as long as I possessed it, I would be targeted by Archeum for the rest of my life. 
She ended up telling me that the only way to truly be free from the Archeon was to leave as soon as possible and find some way to gain control over my power. You found a piece of parchment that looked like a letter. The letter contained details about Janus Carter, someone Adriana had met. Janus, recognizing the strength of the Star Fragment, advised her that the only way to be free from the Archeum was to leave as soon as possible. Archeum forces captured Martinet, the younger of two twin sisters. By keeping her hostage, they forced the shaman Adriana, who wielded the power of a star fragment, to call forth the rains. As the ritual began, rain cascaded from the sky, accompanied by crashes of thunder. But the Archean forces had altered the ritual. Their tampering caused a cursed rain to fall on Maslin. Wherever the rain fell, Creatures transformed into violent monsters that attacked people and devastated the farmland. Adriana was shocked to witness what she had done. When the Archean forces turned on the sisters, meaning to kill them now that they had served their purpose. The awe-inspiring power of the star fragment that lay dormant within Adriana flooded out and their enemies were annihilated in an instant. aftermath, Adriana was beset by unspeakable disfigurations, swallowed by guilt over her role in causing the cursed rain. In the past, Adriana had unleashed the cursed rain. Is there someone out there? Can anyone help me? There isn't that much time left. Oh, what should I do? There's something that I desperately need, but no one will even listen to me. Couldn't you find it in your heart to help me out, adventurer? Have you ever heard of this monster known as Iskael the Greyfanged? He was this dreadful wolf that possessed terrible Malvescence. Back in my younger days, I almost ended up getting killed by Iskael. The only reason I'm alive to speak to you about this today is that Henry, the Lord's son, came to rescue me and the other children. He heroically sacrificed his own life to defeat Iskael. Whenever I get the chance, 
I tried to visit Henry's grave in Castleton Abbey to leave some offerings. Last time, I made some gloves for him using the hide of a rabbit that I caught. The anniversary of Henry's death is coming soon, so I'd like to prepare a special gift for his grave. I saw a beautifully crafted keepsake at an old hunter's house once. He said he got it from participating in the wolf hunting contest that is held in Henry's memory. I wish I could get one of those keepsakes and bring it to Henry's grave, but I'm still too young to participate in the contest. You don't mind? You'll really get one of those keepsakes for me? If that's the case, then I... No, never mind. Actually, it would be nice if I could have two of these keepsakes. Do you think it'd be possible to get two? Thank you so much, adventurer! The contest is hosted at the Lord's Residence in Castleton. Go there and ask how you can participate. Brava, this way! Come over here for a second! Oh, Brava! Why is your back so heavy? Powerful guilds should get great benefits befitting their stature. things to do making arrangements for the contest checking up on the farm I know that you've come a long way but our situation is pretty bad we might even have to shut down the contest at this rate we must lure the wolves to proceed with the contest but the bait we've been using just isn't working Lord Hobbs cherishes this contest he hasn't missed a single one 
You have no idea how much trouble I'll be in if this year's event falls flat. Oh, um, wait. If you're here for the contest, can you please help me? I need some ingredients to make a new kind of bait. A wolf hunter keepsake? But that's... Um, no, never mind. But first, you need to help me procure the ingredients needed for the bait, okay? Please defeat the crackle in the wrecks on Wind Hill Shores. They're tricky to find, but the wolves love eating them. The stench of crackle meat is irresistible bait for beasts like them. Also, investigate any chests that are left in the wrecks. They often contain fishing bait, which is quite effective as well. Please remember, crackle are difficult prey to hunt, so you should equip at least uncommon level armor. But why don't you pay a visit to armor crafter Rachel? I've already dropped a word with her. Dave, the Lord's aide, was concerned that the bait he was using for the wolf hunting contest wasn't effective enough. He decided to solve this problem by developing a new kind. To get a keepsake for Soyuri, you must first gather the ingredients for this new bait from Windhill Shores. know the entire crafting process. Just leave it to me. You there! Why don't you try on some new armor? If you want armor that's perfect for you, you have to craft it! Ah, you must be the adventurer that our aide mentioned. So, you're off to hunt a crackle. That means you're in need of some tough armor. Usually, you need to bring materials to crafters like us to make armor. Since you came through Dave's introduction, I will provide the materials just this one time. Try crafting the armor you need. The Lord's aid Dave introduced you to an armorsmith at Castleton named Rachel. Rachel gave you some materials and told you to craft some armor.
You can ask me anything about weapons, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. I know th you can ask me anything about weapons, but come back anytime, my friend. Oh, not a bad job at all. Now, upgrade the armor. You know how, right? Just like weapons, armor can be upgraded too. The more you upgrade your armor, the more damage it can withstand. Here, I will give you some materials. Try upgrading that armor you just crafted. That's all I can teach you for now. Keep crafting and upgrading your armor. You're off to fight Crackle today, but you will surely face more fearsome opponents next time. You successfully crafted armor using Rachel's materials. You will bring more materials you find on the road to a crafter to make other types of armor. Have you brought more materials? Rachel told you to develop your armor to withstand high impact attacks. You'll have to learn to craft better armor pieces and improve them to prepare for tougher fights ahead.
Unfortunate accidents often happen off the coast of Castleton, when fishing boats are sunk by the perilous reefs. Chunks of the bait that anglers use are sometimes found in the chests that wash ashore from the wreckage. Their pungent smell is highly effective at luring in the wolves. 